this is Praxis. The windows arrived yesterday. My dad's here to help out, and today we're putting them all up. Uh, there are two open holes for small windows up top. We received some windows that are going to go in our greenhouse, ultimately. Though I think for, this, for the winter, I'm just going to throw those in the root cellar, just get them out of our way, just keep them clean, dry, and you know, not getting bumped by boards around here. Uh, and the last window goes in this spot. Now, we want to keep this spot open so that we can get the, the concrete for the floor poured right through here. Now, you could just open the window and have them put a chute right through the window. You know, people have done that before. In fact, we did that in the last house. But why risk the window possibly getting broken? We want to have this be open and just be bored so they pour it through. If someone bumps something, it doesn't shatter glass. But that said, this thing here, we ran out of uh, plastic. So this is like, there's a hole in the middle of this. So uh, we wanted to kind of close this up because you can hear behind you, there's a dehumidifier going. We have heaters going now because now that we finally have the windows about to go in, we can heat the place and we can dehumidify the place. Those are both great things. But what's the point if you've got a big open hole in the wall? So I was thinking, ah, I gotta get some more plastic on here. And of course, my dad always has the simplest idea, uh, you know, for the, the well, that makes it sound awful, has an elegantly simple idea for a problem. And he was saying, well, it's a window hole. Why don't you just put the window up there? Now, we don't wanna do it on the outside because, you know, we got leakage around it and everything, but he said, let's just do it on the inside. We've got a perfect nailing surface to uh, put it up right there. We're gonna temporarily tack the window here, which will prevent our heat loss. And it's right over here. We're gonna carry it over. Which is the outside face? Oh, yeah, the outside face actually is gonna face yeah. the inside. I'm happy because this is the last of the really heavy windows that we really have to deal with. The greenhouse ones are not nearly as bad because they're double glazed instead of triple glazed. All right, there we go. It even fits. Yeah, it even fits this time, which is not necessarily always guaranteed. All right, uh, so the way we're going to put it in, it, oh, we're, oh, it doesn't matter. We'll have to figure that out later. Yeah. But, um, the way we're going to put it in is, is instead of uh, actually hammering through the nailing holes, just did little nailer boards, and they're going to go up on the sides here. Does that look like it's okay there? I'm just going to bring it over a little bit. Okay. I'll look over there. Yeah. Decent. Okay. All right. And this is just going to hold it in place temporarily. Actually, I'll put this on the high side because you get the best uh, yeah. you know, resistance that way. We'll throw some down below too. Yeah. My, my right arm is just from all the hammering and never get letting the muscles recover. It's not feeling great. Hi, right, that's good. All right. I, before I end this video, I just wanted to clarify. My dad was mentioning that uh, I, it sounds like I hate winters in New England from things that I've been saying on the channel. And I, that's not true. I hate winters in New England when you're living in a living situation that depends on the power never going out and nothing ever going wrong which, you know, and people in the preparedness community, we know that that's not necessarily a safe bet to make. Living at Red House is really nerve wracking because if the power goes out, we can't run the heat and all of the heating tubes that run water through the walls, many of those run through cold air spaces and they are really prone to freezing and cracking if anything ever goes wrong. I don't like that kind of living situation, but as far as living in New England, when you have like a really nice place that will sustain your lifestyle, I think that's really awesome. You can go out, you can enjoy the cold, which kills all the ticks over the winter when you have a nice uh, cold winter. And then you can come into a place that's nice and cozy and reliable, dependable, and any other kind of adjectives you can throw in along those lines. And uh, I'm definitely po positive about that, just negative about living on the edge all the time, which I've been doing for the past 18 months. That's it. Thanks for watching.